love can never express itself by imposing suffering on others. It can only express itself by self-suffering, by self-purification. Gandhi, Mahatma, Volume 3. To be sure, there are occasions when one has to block the project of another person or persons who may then take it ill and feel that hostility has been directed against them. But usually, in the course of time, they realize that you were trying to prevent them from a misstep because of your love and affection and concern for them. So even in cases where there's an apparent exception to this rule, I think the rule holds good. And it, what it requires often of us is the courage to do what we know to be right or what we at least feel to be right, given our present level of understanding, against the opinion of even our friends. Most conspicuous example in Gandhi's life that I can think of in his early life in South Africa was when he rejected a compromise offered to him by General Smuts, by the Boer government, in which all of his supporters in India, including Gopal Krishna Gokhale, who was really his political guru, they were all telling him, take it, take it, that's the best that you can get. But he was there on the ground for one thing and for another. He had faith in God. He had deep insight into the human person and incredible faith in the power of nonviolence. And a few years later, he prevailed. He was proven right. Mm -hmm. 